So you have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 or the S9 series, and if you have an issue where you're stuck in a boot loop, I'm going to show you how to get out of this. So basically with the boot loop, it just keeps restarting over and over and over again. Okay. Now this one is fixed, but we're going to pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here, and I'm going to give you several solutions to get you up and running right now, right from your home, nothing to do with taking anything apart. Okay, these are all super easy steps. So let's pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. You keep seeing the Samsung Galaxy logo on and off, okay? First thing you want to do is you want to force restart it using the two key combination, all right? It's going to be the power button and the volume down. You want to press and hold both buttons and keep on holding until you see the Samsung logo appear. This typically takes about 40 seconds, okay? So pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here, and now we're going to do it. Power button, volume down, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Just keep on holding here. Pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here, holding power button, volume down. And you typically want to wait about 40 seconds. Now just keep waiting until a Samsung logo appears. Still holding here, power button, volume down. Still holding. Come on, where's that Samsung logo at? Still holding. Oh, there it just vibrated, Samsung logo. Go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally, and hopefully this will get you out of the boot loop. If not, we're going to go to option number two. Okay, so you're still stuck in a boot loop. No problem. Um, I forgot to mention, but if you guys have a case on here, take the case off. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do here is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to spam this power button. Okay? Now, the thing is, if you guys have your SOS emergency enabled, if you tap that power button five times consecutively, it'll call your emergency services. Like if you're in the US, it'll call like 911. So don't do that. So instead of clicking five times, I want you to do this sequence here. Okay, power button here. Power button, spam it four times. One, two, three, four, kind of hard, and then stop. Count the five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And let's do it again. Power button. One, two, three, four. Count the five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Do it four times again. One, two, three, four. Just like that, okay? And the reason why we're doing that is because it's possible that your power button could be like jammed or stuck. You might have lint in there. You may have coffee or something sticky in there that's causing a boot loop. Okay, so after you do that, now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our tablet. Plug that in. Wait for about five seconds and still, let's pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop. While it's plugged in, we're gonna do the same thing, okay? Power button. Volume down. Ready, set, go. Press and hold. Keep on holding here. Don't worry about what's on my screen here. Just continue to hold the power button volume down. Pretend I'm still stuck in that boot loop. Just keep on holding. I'm still holding here. Okay, now when you see the Samsung logo, let go of both buttons, okay? So I'm still holding. Still holding here. Come on. About to turn off Samsung logo, let go of both buttons, let it boot up normally, and hopefully you're out of the boot loop. If not, we're going to go to the next possible fix. Okay, you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. From here, we're going to go ahead and unplug the charger. Next thing we're going to do while you're stu still stuck in a boot loop, what we're going to do is we're going to press on the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to press on the screen and on the back. And the whole premise behind this is you might have a cable that's slightly dislodged and believe it or not, a little press can pop it into place, okay? So if you don't wanna smudge up your screen, you can put a cloth on it or whatnot, but I'm gonna hold it just like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda press. Keep on pressing, all right? Press kinda hard, all right? Just don't crack your screen. And I'm not responsible if you crack it either, okay? Just keep pressing, pressing. Pressing, pressing. Now, if you hear a click when you're pressing, just wait, tap on that power button. You're probably still stuck in a boot loop. Just wait until it boots up again and hopefully you are out of the uh, boot loop, okay? If not, no problem. We're also gonna do the back here, okay? You wanna press, press, press. All over, press, all around, even around the lens here. Press, press. If you hear a little click, Again, just turn your tablet over and just wait till it boots up normally and hopefully you are out of the boot loop, okay? If not, just continue. Press, press, press. 
Now turn your iPad over and still and see if you're still stuck in a boot loop. If you're, if you're still stuck, no problem. From here again, volume down, power. Press and hold both buttons. Just keep on holding for about 40 seconds or so until you see the Samsung logo. Then let go and hopefully you'll be out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, we're going to go to the next option. Okay, so this last option I have for you is what I call the freezer method. What I want you to do is grab your tablet where there's no case, it's naked like this. Go to your freezer, put it in there just like this. Leave it in there for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, come back, grab your nice cold tablet, and then just go ahead and tap that power button and see if your screen is on. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. While the tablet is nice and cold from here, do the same thing. Power button volume down, press and hold both buttons. Just keep on holding for about 40 seconds or so until you see the Samsung logo. Samsung logo appears. Let go of both button and let it boot up normally and hopefully you are out of the boot loop. Now here's the thing. If you guys tried all of these steps and you're still stuck in a boot loop, then what I would recommend, start from step number one. Try all the steps again. Doesn't work, try it three times. Doesn't work, try it at least up to seven times, okay? And if you guys tried all these steps at least seven times, I'm gonna say at least 70% of you guys should be out of the boot loop. If this worked for you, give me a thumbs up. Please comment which uh, method you think worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. Like I said, we should see at least a 70% thumbs up. Okay, good luck guys.